Awesome. All right, here we are. We're at the Virtual Gaming Con. This is amazing. I, I'm so glad that uh, I was able to convince Tom Vassell to be part of this, and we've gathered together a, a, a group of uh, vagabonds and troubadours and what have you uh, from all walks of life in the in the uh, board game world, tabletop world, and we will be uh, having each of them introduce themselves here in very short order. But I just... Um, this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to have Tom play in a role-playing game and have me be in charge of it. Uh, the type of game we're playing right now is a game that is called, let me get this in the camera right, it is called uh, The Sword of the Crown of the Unspeakable Power. You can definitely find copies of this out in the wild. Just use your Google too. Um, this is a... Uh, a game that is, uses the uh, engine of the Power by the Apocalypse, which is like used by Dungeon World and many other different uh, types of things. Uh, the cool thing about these is that this is a very um, like evocative type of game because of the fact that uh, the players actually react and create the world at the same time as the, the person controlling the game, the Master of Ceremonies, as it's called it, which is me. Um, it is a very, very simple game, which uh, me, as the person who runs the game, unlike in the Dungeon Master, I'm never going to be rolling dice for monsters, rolling damage, or anything like that. What I will be doing is telling the players to roll two six-sided dice, and then what they roll on those two six-sided dice will uh, actually cause things to happen in the world. And I won't ever roll a die ever. I will just react to what they're doing, and we will create a story. Um, but, did we just lose Jeremy? Jeremy's, Jeremy's out. You don't roll dice? You're not rolling dice? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Oh, well, he's, not feeling, he's not feeling this whole non-rolling thing. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, no, he, he went invisible. As, as, uh, he's, um, no, he, he just realized himself, oh wait, dice, right? I need dice. <laughs> yes, a little right. blink blade, my little blink blade, look at that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, um, that is that. Now I did. I did. Uh, I did give them characters that I created for them. These are very bare bones as far as um, these have very. These have five very basic stats that just represent, um, like their their you know their power in combat or how smart they are, or how observant they are. Um, they also uh, got their basic characters too. Uh, Julie from Greenbrier Games is actually uh, a character class called the Crown, which is she's a, a member of royalty. Uh, Tom. Got got uh, a character class called the beloved which uh, means that they, he is a person that is in touch uh with with a holy spirit in some way um which you know like he gets to like uh commune with and talk to uh you know uh, the jeremy is uh, as he's wearing right now he is the black hood he is a rogue he's an assassin he is a, a vagabond somebody that um will do scurrilous deeds for uh for for, for people or for himself, depending upon the situation. And finally, we have probably uh, right away, the most important, Z will be playing the captain. He is actually <laughs> the captain of 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 the of, of the the uh, the fastest this, this ship, this pirate ship, or or this this ship of ne'er do wells that all of these people have found themselves upon at this moment. Um, they're really uh, other than the very basic knowledge that they gave them that said they are on this because they are heading to a very important place. To, right. They need to be there for a very important thing, and they have yeah. they have with them a very important object that they need to deliver. But other than that, the rest is up to everybody else yes. to decide. Now, at this but time, they, I would they told me too when they charted my ship. Yeah. You're going to an important place. Here's an important thing. Sail off where on the important seas, and that's yeah. all I got. That's all you got. Hey, you got so, paid well. Don't even. I got paid. I got paid. So Gold. we're going to just, we'll just start with Julie, uh, and uh, we're going to have each person introduce their character. And then um, after everybody gets done introducing their characters, then each one of the, the players will have to, there's going to be a fun thing where they're going to find out that they have connections with one another. This is something that's in the game. So Julie, uh, take us away. Tell us about your, tell us about your alter ego. Fantastic. Uh, my character's name is Althea, the Iron Queen. And I am of the Grunendorn line. Uh, in this world, the uh, leadership has taken a turn because it is such a dark and terrible place for being uh, very militaristic. So I am from a glorious line of war leaders. Uh, to that end, I am... Uh, what I've got with me, what I, 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 you know, traditional robes and vestments are 
Sure, you can clearly see that I have nobility, but they're also very practical uh, and made for for battle. Uh, I have so my necklace, which I decided to get dressed up and kind of go with my theme here. Uh, yes. is, in, is ornamental, yes, and each one is made for the leader of some kind, but they're also very practical. So while it looks pretty and delicate, it actually has a lot of hidden compartments uh, so that I have, for example, a lock pick, and then there's one of the leaves is poison. Uh, I can uh, hear the Kraken stir. There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, I have no idea. There was traffic. That was some weird, was some weird traffic, this, yeah. I, I'm in the city. I, it is what it is. Uh, and and it's also kind of takes place of, so instead of a signet ring, there's one of them that shows the indication that I am the, the current leader. And I have a sword, because I wanted one. It's good. It's good to have a sword. It is. All right. Um, well, I think I think Jeremy's itching to show us his his blade. So, Jeremy, why don't you uh, describe uh, your character for us? Uh, so, my uh, <laughs> I'm the Black Hood, but my name is Jeff the Wanderer. Um, I am basically for coin. Uh, I do anything for coin, um, and I often like to steal from people. It's kind of like a my natural default. And uh, I try to make sure that everybody feels a little bit uncomfortable and uneasy around me. So a lot of the characters that we're going to be interacting with today will be, uh, you probably don't want me around a lot. They just don't want me around. It kind of makes you feel uneasy, um, even though I'm there the whole time. And I feel like I'm kind of, uh, kind of in tune with the captain. I'm kind of like, he's the only one I'm really feeling. Whereas other ones I feel like are more noble and, and, and are kind of favored, and I don't like them. Um, so I kind of impose my will on the very light character, like the crown, which I just don't like. I just generally don't like that. And the person who's blessed and beloved, oh, you disgust me. You are the <laughs> type of person that lives on the other bloody end of my blade, you know. Uh, so that would be the person I'm kind of intimidating a lot. And for introduction, when I say something like that, more than likely the first time when I talk to Tom and say, you are the person that lives on the end of my blade, I am trying to steal something from him at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so my introduction, hopefully I can steal, try to steal something while I'm talking to him and, and intimidating him. <laughs> May I do this? May I roll for that? We're not just yet. We're doing introductions. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> well, that's Good night. But, Somebody's ready to do some <laughs> role play. My you, guys are, you guys are going... All in, by the way. This is in. we're going. This is in. not my typical thing. Y'all are like killing it. You gotta... We believe. We believe in you. We believe. In you. Make, I, make Z I'm... go next. Okay, hey, not... Z. No, Z. You are you are the captain. You are you are on board the ship. First, tell, me the, tell me the name of your ship. Tell me the name of your ship. <laughs> my ship is called the Unbeloved. Unbeloved. Oh, okay. And uh, um, you you have you have like you you have fifteen uh, like you know, uh, down and dirty souls that, uh, that 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 you know help you with your ship who um, mm -hmm. who have uh, proven themselves to you time and time again that you know, obviously these are people you can call upon. But um, other than now that you're the captain of the Unbeloved, um, what is your name, sir? My name is Salt Beard, uh, and uh, I am like you said uh, the head of a rack group of miscreants and ne'er-do-wells and we you know sail the high seas going to places and delivering things maybe uh taking things that have been delivered and re-delivering them if you know what i mean that's largely what we're going to be doing i don't want to say i'm a pirate mostly because i'm not sure i'm pronouncing that correctly but you could say we're pirates um and uh, I think I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling the, this uh, blade in the in the darkness, as Jeremy was saying. I think uh, what was your what was your character's uh, name, Jeremy? I gotta write this down. Uh, Jeff. 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 The Wanderer. <laughs> Jeff the Wanderer. Fantastic. Yeah, Jeff and I I think are on the same page. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see where our adventures take us. That's I'm. I'm well, I am the captain of the ship. I'm happy to hear input. 
And if I don't like it, then, you know, I'll just uh, send you to an early and watery grave. But no, don't (laughs) don't let that intimidate you. I'm a nice guy. All right. So and last but certainly not least, uh, we have Tom. Uh, You are not unbeloved, but you are what's called the beloved, which um, is 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 a is a, a, a figure of that has a person that has a connection to a higher power. Uh, so first of all, give us your name and perhaps tell us this higher power that you're connected to. Well, about six years ago, the voices began. Um, I was told by everyone around me that I was going insane when I tried to tell them that I was hearing its voice. Um, and I almost believed them. Uh, I mean, they did lock me in that house for a year. But when I escaped... I realized that I was on the right path. I've renounced almost all worldly possessions. I carry a pair of dice with me, not because I'm a gambler, but to show what I would, I have given up. I don't gamble. I'm opposed to it. I've given up everything. In fact, I gave up almost all the letters of my name. I am simply called I, the letter I. I used to be called something much longer, but no longer. Um, I, I, I have just a staff, a cloak. I carry no soap. No useful things at all, pretty much, other than these dice, a staff, and a few small goods that I must carry because I was told I should not just die. Um, I'm here on this trip because the voice has told me to show up. The voice gives me power. I'm here. I listen to the queen. Her words sound good. The captain, I told him my story. Tears came to his eyes, so I'm sure that he believes me and feels strongly about what I'm saying. I have a condition. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so one of the nice things about uh, about the Sword of the Crown of the Unspeakable Power is that each character um, can now, and we're going to go in snake order back, we're going to go with Tom, then Z, then Jeremy, then Julie. You're going to pick you uh, each one of your character sheets. You have two, um, you have three things that are possible that you have a connection. You have to pick two of those, and you have to pick two of the other players, and that, that's your connection. Um, and the players cannot deny it. This is a connection that your character has with their character. Uh, so, Tom, you, you have your character sheet in front of you. Um, pick the first one and the character that that connection is uh, the with. First you one can, is you the, can ex- the first one is to the Iron Queen. And I, I listened to her when no one else would. And I'm sure that's impressive to her. But it's mostly because I was born in a family of 18 boys and no girls. And so this is all new to me. Um... <laughs> For Z, as I said, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Captain Saltbeard. Thank you. Even though I'm a little confused as to why he named his ship the opposite of what I am, I believe that the that my calling is to learn from his errant ways. And like I said, I explained everything to him, and it does seem like I can actually make him listen to me. It's weird, and I'm not sure why. So you, you have chosen the one. You have heard me speak my love for the the voice, the power, the, the it, the thing that tells you and and uh, and I know and, we're all saying it, but the actual but the actual words and sounds are imp- unpronounceable even by myself, who we all know <laughs> is the king of pronunciation. It's not that. I'll try. Hang on. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so yes, uh, so you you all right. So uh, <laughs> I do see, want you to know. I just had to write down the sentence. I listen to I. <laughs> you made me do I that. I had to write I listen to me. So, oh. okay. Oh. All right. Let me see. I've got three things here. You have seen me show mercy when it was deserved. You have dreamt of writing with my militia and I. And oh, my yeah. I. Not, 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 yeah. It's all weird. And you have seen me bully someone weaker than me. So here's what I'm going to go with. You have seen me bully someone weaker than me. Uh, I think Jeff the Wanderer has been on the ship. And Jeff, if I'm not mistaken, you were on the ship. You've been on the ship before on the Unbeloved. So yeah. you've seen me in my natural habitat, let's call it, a little more than the Iron Queen and I. So I've, I I've, done, something, I've done something <laughs> awful to you, but... You, you, I remember. I, I'm still getting out the stains. And, well... <laughs> Here's, now here's the deal. We actually have two different things that yeah. like we're kind of confused because like what I think, what I thought I did that was awful to you, it actually is something you don't know about. 
Oh, there's something else I didn't remove stains from. Great. Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, you did something awful. But when we both find out, there were two different things, and I think mine is worse. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I have something that's like valuable to you, and you just were like, all right. But then you thought I did something petty, like take like ten coins. <laughs> so, <laughs> I actually did more. something awful to you. <laughs> I did right. something awful to you. So yeah, that's um, me. That's so yeah, me. Then, me uh, wait, 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 wait. One more from Z. Oh, and, so. and uh, for the uh, Iron Queen, is that what you're going with? The Iron Queen, is that right? Althea, the Iron Queen. Yep, Iron Queen. I go by that. Sure. Uh, you have seen me show mercy when it was deserved. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. There was a moment where, you know, I could have been a brute and I chose not to be. Uh, and I think it was the right call at that time. I don't think, you know, it cannot all be, cannot all be the, the, the... What did you show mercy to, Z? Uh, well, as you, as you, uh, know, I have quite a few, I like to call them underlings, uh, beneath me. And, uh... One of them simply has been having a hard time keeping up. Something about, oh, I'm sick. Don't you know I'm missing a lung? Some nonsense. But um, I decided to allow them time to grow said lung back. And if by the next full moon they're not keeping up with the rest of the crew, then I will sacrifice them to the ocean. So, Do you uh, sacrifice many things to the ocean? Uh, you know, I try to, and it is kind of weird the way I watches me as I do so. <laughs> Some sort of fascination I'm there. Learning with perhaps so very much. Underwater, cre I hear a lot of mumbling and incomprehensible uh, languages um, from him. Somewhat fascinating, but uh, yes. So the Iron Queen has seen me show, uh, seen me show mercy. All right. So uh, Jeff, the Wanderer. Uh, you you were you seem to be going in a direction uh, with uh, Saltbeard. Uh, which yeah. one of your which one is the, the one you were going with on that? So yeah, yeah that's that's uh, I've done something awful to him. So like I said, been on a ship before. We mm. kind of are like weird on the timelines. I've stolen something that's really important to him. Maybe somebody he cared about. Maybe oh wait no you know what I've done. What is it? Tell me him. what you stole. Tell me I, what you stole. No, I I killed someone who he cares about, who he cared about. And they, he didn't know that. So he didn't know that. It was a contract that I had. Um, what, perhaps like his like his first mate? Or who yeah, was it? So I killed, yeah, I killed his first mate at a previous stop. And uh, he does not know that. But what he thinks I did that was wrong is like small and petty. And he just couldn't stand me. That's why he kicked me off. Um, and then I scared Tom just a little bit because sometimes he gets to see like the side of my eye and I kind of look at him every time. So it kind of like weirds him out because of his lifestyle. Like he's just not used to people like me. So I, he doesn't I would like prefer people like normally like me. Yeah. And I'm really <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> so I smell too. I have like a really bad odor to me. So that I don't notice. Yeah. The bass <laughs> are just not a thing to me. They're not, they're not a thing to me unless I jump in the ocean. So there you go. There you go. All right, Jules, or I'm sorry, Althea, the Iron Queen. Yes. Uh, uh, your so relationship. I'm going to, because I've been hearing a lot of chat from Jeff here, I was going to go a different direction, but I think he actually, deep down secretly, he thinks that I am a great and wise ruler. Ooh. For all of his uh, distrust of higher, you know, of the, the social classes and the fact that he is constantly trying to steal things from me, really deep down, he actually wants he wants me to succeed because he actually thinks I'd do a good job. Yep. Okay. And your so, second one? My second one, um, Seabeard. That's right, uh, that's my name. He, uh, he made a big show of showing mercy so that I would probably contract his boat to do this adventure and, and get the, the money. And, and yes, I did see it and I acknowledge it, but uh, I also am a little nervous because uh, I, I'm afraid he actually knows some of the things that I do, the circles that aren't so noble and higher-minded. 
some of the things that I get up to. We might, we might have had some sort of somebody he knows is somebody that I know that probably I shouldn't. All right. All right. So now, <laughs> is that your eye patch? My pirate hat. <laughs> Not all of us have such a diverse library of, of uh, haberdashery as Tom Vassell's. So. That's a good. That's a, that's a good five dollar word you for the habit. All right. So um, now uh, I need one of you to volunteer to know um, the item. What is it uh, that that we are transporting? And uh, hmm. just go ahead. What what is what is the item that has to be protected? That has to be delivered. It's uh, only one of us is going to know. You said no. You're all going to know what it is. I just want one person to tell me what it is. Well, I think, yeah, I think uh, the, the queen should, yeah. I mean, it's your, you know, it seems to me like you're the one who's been following this thing. It's just come into my life because you've charted this ship, uh, the so unbeloved. It's, it's, a, um, it's a letter that one of my spies intercepted from a, a another kingdom. And they were planning on invading, and they were looking to get support from within this king, my kingdom. And I intercepted it, and I'm trying to actually bring it to one of their allies to show that they are not to be trusted and have them switch uh, alliances. That's, and, and why are you personally uh, you know, traveling? Is that, would that not be yeah, dangerous? It is dangerous, but I don't think that it would be believed if I just sent a messenger and then I would lose the document and all. Um, okay. And um, other than the fact that uh, they may have seen the letter with the with the seal on it and what have you, have you shared this information with 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 anyone else? I've shared it with I. He is my trusted advisor. We go back. <laughs> I look like somebody out of Try news. Gun. It's terrible news. Very good. Um, all right. Well, now I think we've got our setting. Uh, you are you are bounding across the nameless sea, um, heading heading towards uh, the 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 ally of the scurrilous nation of what is the scurrilous nation that, that what is the name of the scurrilous nation that you that that uh, you wish to to denounce? Gangrene. Uh, what was that? What was that oh. I? Gangrene. Gangrene. Yeah, the land of gangrene, yeah. The land of gangrene. You know, I think that's where my one lunged uh, mate is from. The oh. land of gangrene. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. Um, you are traveling, uh, and now as 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 you uh, you your your ship is you oh. know showing its age and, and it has the barnacles to show it, but um Jeffrey he is is unbeloved. Very, yes. Uh, it is it is very seaworthy, and it is bounding across the waves, the uh, full full sails, uh, and um, it has been very very uh, uh, unremarkable. Uh, nothing nothing major. You you feel that um, no one has learned that you have intercepted the the, the letter. Uh, you feel that no one is 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 on your side, and um, but uh, there uh, Jeff the Wanderer, who uh, uh, became bored one day. And he, uh, he has climbed up um, into the crow's nest, and uh, he is peering out. And there, you know, uh, off in the distance, um, you, you, you see sails many times in the distance. You see ships coming and going. The Nameless Sea has, has, has many destinations along its, board, along its uh, shores. But um, you glance and you saw a sail, and you, and you turned away. And then, but when you glanced back, you saw the sail was getting closer. And then you looked... Again, you saw the sail was getting even closer. And at this point, uh, Jeff the Wander, you realize uh, you are being pursued. Look over there. The eyesore. I think I may know this one. At least I think I know every boat that I see. We need to take this out because it's coming near us. Listen, Jeff, I'm, I'm a little surprised it took you uh, six or seven glances to realize that as, <laughs> as things get bigger on the horizon... <laughs> That means they're getting closer. You don't trust Next my time, eye? I trust both of them together. 
Depth perception, son. Use them both. You'd tell me sooner next time we might be able to react to what's happening in the distance. But I'm glad you said something now. Uh, should I roll for uh, possibly knowing who they are? Um, just remember, uh, one of the fun things about this is that if you were rolling about possibly knowing who they are, you are going to know exactly who they are. But oh. it, you know, because because you are creating the world at the same time that I that that, that we are playing. So. Um, what you're going to do then with the ooh the first first die roll yay yeah. um, what you're going to be studying a situation which means yeah. you're going to be rolling two dice and you're going to be adding your sly statistic to those dice and what you want is you want a seven or better uh, on a ten or better you're going to be able to basically ask a lot of questions and I'm going to I'm going to tell you exactly what the answers are uh, seven through nine you're going to get less answers but you know just try not to roll low. <laughs> just roll the four. <laughs> Wait, four, four plus. <laughs> All right, you get your eyesight check. Oh, so six. We have a surgeon on the ship. I hear this commotion going on, and I emerge from my private chamber cabin because that's it's a what cabin. I do. It's a cabin. Down. It's not chambers. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, I fancied it up. I, I, I did. I did some. Re I did some redecorating. You'll thank me later. So, so, uh, so Jeff the Wanderer, um, you know exactly who this person is. It is, it is, uh, it is a, a, a mercenary captain um, known as Martin the Red. Um, and uh, he is known to take money for anything, anywhere, but, uh, and for any job. And, um, but he is loyal to coin. You know that about him. Um, but, uh, he um, loves coin. I love coin. I've stolen his coin. I know he wants all the coin. I have a quick question here. Um, how long have we been on the ship? Uh, you've been on the ship for a little less than a week. All right. Well, I, I just as a heads up, I'm, I'm sleeping on the deck because I don't use beds. Um, but I've been spending the last week working really hard to make disciples of as many of the crew as possible. My previous three disciples, well, they stole my money and ran away. But... I feel, I feel like these folks need to know the truth of. of so, um, did that work? No. Well, but you uh, keep trying, please. Well, can I? Um, can I? Uh, I. Can I please uh, get you to roll a study a person uh, roll then? And I once again, this is you're going to add your sly stat to a two dice with a two d six. I'm using these You're going to tell me what you have. I believe you. So it's, uh, I'm adding nothing, so five. Um, so uh, you did convince uh, one person um, that, uh, like, you were, you, were, you, were, you were explaining the voice to them, and, you're, and, and they started listening. Quick question. How, how many lungs does he have? Well, he only has one lung. I know uh, who it is. He turned. <laughs> what, what what is what is the one lunged uh, uh, mate or one lunged we call uh, him, We call him. His full name's Jimmy, but to mess with him, we call him Jim because he's only it's just half the name. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, you, you you do you have noticed? <laughs> Sorry, that's stupid. I call him Wheezy. <laughs> so. You, you have noticed that Jim um, has kind of fallen in line a little bit uh, with I. They seem to, uh, and, and, and Jim has even attempted to sleep uh, on the hard deck even a night or two to try to. Uh, huh. uh, That's um, just going to kill him off with a cold <laughs> and pneumonia sooner. You know, yeah, the land of gangrene uh, didn't do him in, the cold and water will. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. I'm here and I'm telling Jim, you know, that. Has told us that uh, it is his job to protect me. You know, I, I, I'm, I probably don't uh, need it, but we'll be fine. He, he, he gasps for breath every once in a while, but he, 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 Jim is like, oh, I'll, I'll do my, I'll do my best. I, uh, when will the voices speak to me? Oh, <laughs> it, it takes years. I'm, 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 I'm quite old myself, thirty-three. <laughs> um. But uh, Jeff the Wanderer, um, you know uh, this 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 person uh, to be uh, uh, one that, like I said, is loyal to coin. Um, but um, also, if, uh, if if 
if he if he uh, once he once he is in pursuit of his quarry, um, he will not give up. Oh, so you say. Uh, one thing I know about Martin is he's not fair, so we need to prepare. Gather whatever thing you can, and and you over there, I or whatever your name is, just go downstairs and save your little, you know, your puny hide. If I go below deck, you'll die. I'm staying here. Hmm. Okay. Once again, I, once I, again, I, I, you may I, want to I, stay out of my way. Otherwise, fine. you may see another light. <laughs> I am a little scared by that, so I just go hide behind a crate, but I'm still there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Well, I'm going to. Uh, have you told me about this, Jeff? Am I aware that the ship is gaining on us? Yes, I've I, I've kind of yelled it out. Like you know, at this point, I'm like, it's Martin. You know, the Martin of Coin or whatever. Oh, and, uh, I'm God. yelling like I'm telling you. I, I'll tell you. Like I'll say I'll say this, and I'll say, hey, Martin's the type of guy who takes all the coin. I mean, I've even stolen coin, and he's stolen a coin back from me. He's that kind of guy. He'll come and take whatever he can. So is he a, the kind of guy who takes lives as well as coins? Yes. yes. yes? Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead. And, and he doesn't take bodies with him. So he does not take bodies with him. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about that. Right. But <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and rouse my, uh, my crew then and let us uh, get ready for a possible skirmish. So I'm going to go yes, ahead and yes. rouse everybody. Try to be quick most, about it. Most of them are uh, uh, roused to your your suggestions. Um, uh, Althea, you hear much uh, a ballyhooing about uh, out on the deck. Um, Jim uh, uh, seems to, or Jimmy, as 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 <laughs> I refers to him. Uh, uh, Jimmy seems to uh, be be kneeling deep in prayer uh, uh, in in front of in front of I. Um, like it, he seems to uh, uh, be be. You know, communing or something instead of instead of like you know battening down a hatch or 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 you know pulling down the mizzen mast or whatever the the sailor terminology may be, um, you know they, they you know and some of the uh, some of the other members of your crew are kind of looking at him, then looking at you, and looking at him, and looking at you, but then they go about their business. So, I come up so, and kind of assess what what is happening and get a basic idea that we're about to be attacked, boarded, killed, what have you. Um, and I grab Jeff and I hand him the very important letter. Yes. And say, look, <laughs> perfect. I don't know if I can trust you or not, but I certainly can trust you better than the person coming to attack us. They're coming, which means they're going to look for what we have to, to steal. I'm going to set up a decoy. I can't trust I because I just wants to give away everything, and I can't let that happen in this particular. As much as as much as he's a trusted advisor, and he is, you know, my spiritual guidance, I can't let him give away my worldly goods. For any given reason, so I am trusting you to take care of this letter. And then I go back downstairs to find a chest that's locked and put extra locks on it, make it look like it's the secret important thing, and put some jewels inside it so that it looks like that's what is is the valuables that are going to be stolen. I've died with many secrets, and I will die with this letter. Or I'll sell it for ten coins. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 50, 50 shot. I'm giving it a but chance. But I see it as valuable. And I do. I see it as valuable. But yeah. that's what I say, honorably. You know? Mm -hmm. It's true with my one eye. All right. <laughs> um, you watch as, you watch as the, 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 the sales, the green sales of Martin the Reds. It doesn't make any sense. But the green right. sales of Martin He's the Reds. Colorblind. Are... He's colorblind. He's colorblind. <laughs> red. He's red, green, colorblind. It's fine. We all know this. You no, know, Martin the Red is colorblind. He is. He is. He is in, now in a color. A joke. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Martin the Red, uh, uh, you know, pulls up. Yes, exactly. He, actually, he he hates that nickname. He hates Martin the Red because he knows he's colorblind, and uh, he hates the fact that people make fun of him. Uh, but um, and Martin the Red's boat uh, finally becomes within uh, shouting distance, and and you. So I you, shout um, at him. We are ready for you. 
and then we toss our rotten oranges. <laughs> using, the, using the prayers of Jimmy, I am calling upon to give me some strength. So you're going you're going to call upon the unspeakable power. I am indeed. Good. Okay. Um, I'm so not bad to continue happening. I see them. They are distracting some of my crew. I and Jim. But so, I'm going to allow it to continue happening because at the end of the day I've seen very strange things and for all I know this could work. So I'm going to let just so so crazy. you will need to do a arcane roll. I'm going to give you a plus one on the roll above all the other things um, that uh, you're going to uh, you're going to call up, whisper into the unspeakable power of. You give me a plus one, and I already have a plus two, so that makes it a twelve. Well, yes, um, you. Uh, as you're staying there, you 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 whisper um, to the unspeakable it, uh, the thing that um, like you you cannot uh, end. Um, for the briefest of moments, um, you hear the voice whisper back to you that you used to be scared of, I, but now it's pleasing as it washes over you, uh, and um, and the, the voice says, "Beware, there is one of you upon upon that ship." Just to be clear, because a lot of this has changed, when you say there is a you on that ship, is that my brother who also gave up all hit letters in his name, and now this goes by you? Yes. The voice is silent. It does not, in the voice, the voice is giving you their insight. <laughs> that has to be in there, I'm sorry. <laughs> it has to. I like watching shows like this. You have to. <laughs> so... <laughs> this is a sci-fi show at this point. <laughs> sci-fi yeah. show. <laughs> right. The boat. The boat pulls forward, and you see there is a a, a bedraggled uh, man in mendicant's robes who has 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 the speaker horn. And um, yes, I. You recognize them immediately as you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it is I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's fine. It's like <laughs> I, my brother. <laughs> it's you. Tell, oh, tell, I tell everybody on the ship that it's you, my brother. <laughs> tell, tell Selfbeard to trim sails. And, and 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 slow down. We have much to talk about. Just to clarify, my brother is a heretic. I, I wouldn't listen to him. I wouldn't listen to you because you is a heretic. Um, he also hears a voice, but it's a different voice. Uh, speaks with an accent. Uh, and no. And what type of accent? Well, I can't explain. Yeah, I'm going to uh, shout back to them. We're going to put a stop to this. We're going to shout back to them that if they actually want to parlay, they are to put a dinghy in the water with the one who wants to parlay and come on over as a messenger, and we can talk on the ship. But if they keep approaching us, they will declare war upon our vessel. All right. So this then, uh, Z, uh, and I'm going to let Tom finish what he was explaining about you. No, I'm just talking about me. Okay. I, I don't no, want to no, talk no, about no, no, you no, any more than I have to. Um, I'm done with that. I'm done with you. <laughs> what everybody says. All right. So I am going to have you do a threaten with force. This is um, you're going to be intimidating. Player character roll. Oh, you mean oh? Yes. So you have to. You're going to roll against with your fierce, um, and then. Uh, you're going to you're going to see what the reaction. Is. So roll to your two and add your fierce roll. To it. My fierce is plus two. There you go. That is eight, nine, ten. I got. There all you that. go. That is a, that you got ten or better. Is but um, they uh, you you notice says uh, uh, you uh, <laughs> hands off the megaphone to uh, what you what you look in and here is um, 
uh, uh, Martin the Red uh, wearing his very bright red and green uh, outfit that everybody makes fun of him for because it all looks the same to him. Uh, takes the uh, takes the the, the, the the megaphone, the speaker horn, and um, he goes, uh, Saltbeard, I do not wish to have the ocean, the name, the nameless sea, run red with both our bloods. Uh, I will agree to what you say. Uh, you know, if you promise our messenger uh, safe passage. We do indeed promise your messenger safe passage. Come forth. You have nothing to fear from Saltbeard. I am but a kitty cat. They call me Table Salt. Come on over. <laughs> so um, you watch as they lower a dinghy, and you, of course, uh, gets in said dinghy and begins rowing over and, right. um, you know, climbs up the rigging on the side, and uh, and he... he what is what is, what does your brother look like? I, um, the opposite of me, so quite ugly. Um, <laughs> he he's slightly overweight, uh, about four hundred and fifty kilos, um, and <laughs> huge, huge, huge beard, um, but totally bald and no mustache. Some people say he's Amish. Has an aversion to hats. That's actually where we started fighting. <laughs> Many years ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, you uh, uh, sees I. I. <laughs> and just um, yeah. He says, uh, uh, "Mother says you should write more." That's really harsh. Our mother died before I was born. Hmm. I guess uh, hearing voices <laughs> runs in the family. <laughs> you you uh, see huh. much by that. Um, and uh, he says, uh, "We don't want any any problems uh, whatsoever. Uh, however, um, I'm sure an arrangement can be made. Uh, we believe there to be a a, a, a mislabeled communique." A, a a a a horrible attempt at fostering ill will uh, between um, Althea's uh, uh, kingdom with uh, the kingdom of Gangrene, who never festers or rots or or anything. Um, I don't know why we're called that. Uh, and and we wish to uh, discuss this, and 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 perhaps we can uh, agree that that this has just been a horrible mistake. Hmm. Then. Well, the uh, I, this is the first I'm hearing of any communique, but all of the personal belongings are in the belly of the ship. I'd be happy to have you go down there and take a look around, and if you find such letter, bring it up, let me see it, and we'll discuss it. Uh, don't let you agree to the these food. terms? <laughs> Can uh, I, at, at don't this worry point, about that. I, I finish my my trap and I come back out to join the general group to see what's going on because I was starting to get really bored just waiting in my cabin. <laughs> All right, you you come up Wait, on board. Am I in the room? Am I in the room or am I? No, no, I I handed it to you out on the deck and then went back in. Oh, I, um, then I'm standing when I, I'm standing there right by the door and I just say like right this way and I attempt to grab something from him. Oh well, the Ooh. interesting thing is is that uh, Althea actually comes up to down the deck at about the same time as he ah. was going to, um, and he uh, his four hundred and fifty kilo frame. Uh, <laughs> he he take it he, easy um, on the beloved oh, buddy. And, and immediately upon seeing uh, uh, her, her her royal majesty, he he immediately um, with with as much flair as his yeah. his his frame can give, he he bows deeply. Um, to to Queen Althea, and he goes, "I was not aware that that uh, oh that royalty was on board." Oh my goodness! And I look, I look to I, and I say, "Is this the one?" <laughs> I look to I, and I say, "Is this the one?" I am a man of little violence. I would like to hit him, but I'm not. <laughs> is 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 this the one? This is the one. 
It's I you. Take my, I take my sword and I stab him. Oh, I'm really happy. <laughs> uh, well, he was not. Uh, he was not uh, prepared for that. No, um, yeah. I wasn't prepared for that either. <laughs> you just incited <laughs> war on our two ships. I'm sorry. I and I have talked about you at length. We, I, I have heard things. <laughs> if you're saying this, this you're like shoving this. You have less to be about you often. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can I uh, stab him in the back and just say, hey, I didn't know this was a blade party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, yeah, he, he, he's in mid-bow and he has lowered, you know, and uh, he, he was under the, the feeling that um, he was under, protected under the, the under parlay. Uh, but um, you watch as uh, your sword uh, enters and he, he looks up in shock, but um, his shock turns to like a blank stare. As uh, as Jeff the Wander plunges his his curved dagger into his back, and um, he falls to, to, onto the onto the, the the deck of the ship in a spray of blood, and well, look, immediately Jeff, Jeff is doing what Jeff does. I got no beef with Jeff. Oh, Jeff like sees the blade there. party. He's got to show up. He's yeah. got that constant RSVP at the blade parties. I get it. You do you. But I got to talk to I, and I have to talk to the Iron Queen because. I'm not sure what just happened. While I attempt to do that, however, I'll pull aside a few of my most trusted men and tell them to patch him up as best they can. I'm not worried about saving his life. I don't think he's going to make it. But we're going to patch him up. We're going to make him look clean. We're going to put him on back we'll on that ding and we're going to push will. him off. We're gonna push <laughs> him. We're gonna, he's, that's going to buy us some time while he's supposedly traveling back to the ship where he came from. And I pull aside <laughs> too. I want to know right. what happened. Yeah, you look at and and, uh, and he's he, he he's done. I mean, uh, he, like the, his eyes are sightless. Uh, you know, they are. Uh, he is he is he is shuffled off. Uh, uh, I've, this, I've eaten goats that have more life in them than than you. I'm very exactly. sad. Or <laughs> goes with oh goodness. I know um, you are I. The voice said this would that. happen, so I'm not surprised or upset really. Yeah. I still have has, it, has other I brothers. ever been upset? Has I ever well, been upset? Well when C left. C was the my third brother that also heard the voices. But <laughs> there you go. We got along with C. C. I didn't get along with you. Um together we were called the emergency ward unit. Oh. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Could have been worse. Could have been Could've named been O. Oh. <laughs> and then everywhere they went, they wanted something. You could give oh. us a I yeah. actually have to write this down. Okay, <laughs> Okay, great. So, dude, tell me what's going on. I, I need to be caught up, and I think I'm going to need a bigger part of the split. You just spilled blood all over the unbeloved. Nobody spills blood on the unbeloved. Unless I say they spill blood on the unbeloved. So what happened? What was this all about? Speak! He, he fell. He fell. I he saw him fell. Trip. I... The no. man can't bow to save his life. When he bent over, he fell onto the blade. I swear I like, upon I the was, name of... Was, was, oh, and it, Jeff, Jeff was buttering a piece of bread and he backed into him. Uh. <laughs> All right, well, I let I go do his thing. I'm going to pull the queen aside, and I'm going to ask the queen what just happened. What do I need to know about what just went down? Whenever you use a pronoun, all I can think of, <laughs> what do I need? Again, go ahead. Althea. That man was the brother of I. He does not trust him. He is a traitor. Whatever he had to say, he was going to try to kill one, if not all of us. There's something about your voice. I trust it. <laughs> you go You're clean. not in the room with me. He pulled me aside. Clean your knife off. There's some, no, I'm just talking to myself. There's something mm -hmm. about your voice. I trust it. All right. So I guess... Um... While they are distracted with you making his way back on the dinghy, we're going to try to outsail them. Let's just get out of here. I don't think I can afford to get into a fight. Lance, I Lance, I'm going to try to animate the body of you 
to make it look like he's getting back into the boat. I would also put a hole <laughs> in the boat, and perhaps if you're lucky, it will sink as it travels back, and they'll think that it was just an accident. All right. You will, uh, you will need to harness this. This is, the, you know, you know that when you deal with uh, the evilness, like, there, you know, but you'll have to harness the unspeakable power. This is not as simply as, as speaking, as you know. You are actually asking it to do something for you. Well, I've already opened the door. <laughs> um, so, you know how to, so once again, you are going to have to roll your arcane. And, and, and you notice that even though, uh, even though Jimmy uh, was a gosh, uh, that that uh, the, the, this horrible murder, he is still he is still reverently uh, praising you. You get your plus one again to your. All right, that only makes it an an eight. All right, it's like you were lying, I. Are you lying, I? <laughs> no, so, I was adding. I'm sorry, math was not taught in our all family of boys. Okay. <laughs> How many, how many, how many brothers did you have again? Brother Pi well, was the math one. As of one minute ago, I have 17. <laughs> All right. So, um, you, uh, you, you see the, 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 your brother's limbs start moving slightly and start, it starts to, uh, uh, getting ready to sit up. Um, but then, uh, like, he, <laughs> And, and and you're like you're you're excited. You can feel you can feel that it it, it performing uh, the power for you. But mm. then uh, the voice, the it enters your enters your mind, and says, um, uh, "It's like you must show me that you are willing to do anything if I am to do this for you." I've given you know, it all like, for you. I'll give more. You know, <laughs> you know strike down your new disciple. Oh. <laughs> One moment. Please hold. Uh... <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. But I don't have a... I don't, <laughs> I don't have a knife. I don't have a knife or anything. I just have my staff. So, I have my sword. I'm right there. Well, yeah, but you didn't hear the voice. Um, no, but I've got, I'm right there and I trust you. I feel like, you, so I shout that Jimmy is imbibed with an evil demon and he must die instantly. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, now, what are we waiting for? <laughs> I just said it. What are you going to do? Are you going to push him into the sea? Or are you going to beat him with your staff? What are you going to do? Actually, yeah, I, since I don't have enough time really to shout all the details of what the voice just told me, you're right. I'm going to crack him over the head, an overhead swing onto his, since he's still bowing and praying. And I was taught anatomy by my brother, um, not all of us reduced our names. Um, and so he, he's, he's a, a medical examiner. And so he showed me where to hit people on the skull, so I'm going to do it. All right, yes, you, uh, you crack him over the skull, and he, uh, he slumps to the, uh, uh, the deck. Um, I shout Navy sorry. <laughs> he, he, looks, he, he looks like he might still be conscious. He might I hit not him again. Be... <laughs> and um, <laughs> you notice it's like a, a nice, nice dent opens up in his skull, and, and blood starts to... But Just to be clear, breath. I hit him one more time. <laughs> yes, uh, he he stops making any noise. Um, you, one of your crew has just been uh, uh, murdered in cold blood, and now uh, your brother's corpse uh, you know, stamps forward and and, and and shakily begins walking towards uh, over towards the, uh, uh, the the dinghy the, to the to the ropes. You. <laughs> To climb down. I have never and, and felt to, such uh, power. I am I am feeling drunk on power right now. I all right, I am going to. I'm going to walk over while this is all happening. The commotion is focused on Jim. Yes, uh, uh, gonna, your crew are, are like going, what? What, what? What's going on? They're like obviously very upset. And plus they're seeing a dead animated body walk across your, your, your ship. Uh, I push by to start trying to like... 
put a hole in the bottom of his little ship before we. Yeah, I was going to send. I was going to send Jeff out there to put a hole, but if you're doing that, fantastic. Yeah. You're doing that. Um, so that's going to take care of that. It's going to give us a nice distraction while they try to rescue this 992 pound man, dead man, mind, <laughs> from the ocean. So um, that's fantastic. We'll do that, and then for to the crew, I. Uh, I tell them, I, I simply stand in front of them, near the, uh, the wheel of my ship, and I say, Men! Men! Pay no attention to what's happening on the deck. You all know Jim was half a man on the inside, where it counts. <laughs> we have given up his life for a much greater good. Um, Think of the are... riches coming your way. Think of the places I've taken, all of you. We have among us a man who can hear voices beyond this realm. I is his name. I believe we should listen to what I has to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> Most of them kind of understood what I said. A lot of them are trying to figure what are, out. What are, your, what are your true, like, Kind of raises his hand slightly, um, and just uh, uh, I'm like, Salford, yes, yes, Earl, what is it? Uh, thank uh, uh, Captain Salford. So what you're saying is, is that we're going to split his share of the money up between everyone else? That's exactly what I'm saying, Earl. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then, then everybody's like, everybody seems to. Be, Okay, yeah, yeah, he's never really all that good anyway. And they kind of mutter and stuff like that. And most of them are still watching as this this, this figure uh, walks over. But you realize now as it's getting towards the side of the ship, um, it probably doesn't have the, the, the dexterity needed to, to, like, climb down the ropes, get into the dinghy, then row over to the other side. Um, and you, you realize that, like, you didn't get a chance to, like, it is covered in you know, crimson. Not that Martin the Red's going to notice, of course, but uh, you know, because of once again the color blindness. But um, uh, you you worry a bit about what it looks like. Now, somebody says they want to put a hole in the boat. What is, what are you, what are you trying to? How are you going to do that? How are you going to put a hole in their boat? How what was the idea behind that? So I've ha I've already headed towards. I climbed down into the boat myself, and oh. on the way, I grabbed. Um, there has to be some sort of axe or hatchet in case there's something happens on the ship somewhere oh, yeah, flying so there's, around. There's, there's many, there's, there's many, uh, many tools such as those. Yeah, so I, I grabbed one and I am trying to, I'm not so much trying to like actually make a hole as I'm trying to wedge between the boards and, and make it, make the cracks appear so that it will be far less seaworthy, especially with a 992 pound man. Just to, yeah, yeah. just to be clear, yeah, I, my character doesn't it. really know what a kilogram is, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got it. Doesn't know numbers at all. <laughs> math. A the very math. large man who is now dead weight. Literally. In it, literally. Uh, I am I am just widening cracks in it so that as it's, we shove it off in the hopes that there will be very little trying to pretend that it's rowing. And the boat itself will sink, and we'll be like, "Oh no, go help him!" But obviously, it'll be too late. That's, That's right. my, my general plan and hope. So, so just so I understand, just so I'm not misunderstanding you. You are in the dinghy. You are helping the the now dead but animated body. Uh, no, I wasn't the helping the animated body. I was helping the. I was attacking the boat directly. Okay. Yes, uh, but. But if you take that boat, then the, 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 the dead animated body won't have a boat to climb into to be delivered over to the I'm side. not taking it. I am I'll, I'll get I Jimmy to help. It. Let's see where they Oh. So that when the body gets in there, I'm gonna climb back up. We're gonna shove it towards the other Oh, I got you. I understand. I understand. And I'm gonna climb back onto the ship that I've been on the whole time. I am completely understanding now. I, I misunderstood you. So yes, um, I mean, I am I am a capable swimmer, but we're on the ocean. That's that's a little that is true. a little much. Uh, so, um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah. I am going to. I'm trying to I'm trying to determine determine 
what would be the best? Let's you're going to have to face duress, which is the the catch all in any of these things. Um, you, you, you're trying to do something difficult, um, where your ability to do so is seriously in question. So you're going to have to roll two six sided dice and add your steady uh, to this to this roll. All right. So I have a plus one. That would be a ten with my plus one. Well, there you go. So yes, um, you, you you know like there was so much like weird commotion, and you heard like the the, the, the other the, a few of the sailors were looking at you, um, climbing down in the dinghy. Um, they didn't really think anything of it. Uh, you managed to uh, wedge the the blade of the hatchet, you know, in between uh, some of the boards, and so you you started to see the water gurgling up. Um, the, uh, uh, the 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 animated body, uh, like you know, manages to somewhat climb down about half of the way, but then falls with it even like it falls into the dinghy after you are like climbing up. And you watch it, but um, manages actually to make the hole even worse. And uh, you can see the water bubbling up, and you uh, you kick it with your heel to like make it look like it's moving across, and you can see it's like slowly uh, sinking into the water, and yes. um, and and, and the, the, the the sailors of Martin the Red Ship uh, start like, well, what's going on? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And they, they a few of them even like are diving into the water to like swim over to try to try to. Help, I reach out my um, arm with- like I was trying to grab hold of him, and that I'm sad that he's gone. Um, I cannot make any tears come. I'm not that strong, but I'm trying to look a little <laughs> sad. Mm. Um, it is. Uh, you notice there is a large uh, crowd of sailors now, uh, like uh, on the other side of that ship, and uh, they are looking down. And um, uh, and they, they, they. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Uh, no, no, he sinks like a stone. He's too heavy. Uh, they, they, uh, they. A few of them are trying to hold him up and and bring him bring him aside, and uh, but they're they're unable to do so, and um, uh, they begin climbing and they watch as the the dinghy slowly uh, sinks into the way um, beneath the waves, and uh, Martin the Red uh, once again um, calls out to you and 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 it's like, was did the parlay was it solved? What, what's going on? And I shout back, Indeed it was! The ladder you're looking for was on him! We sent him back perfectly healthy! Dive! 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 And I ring a little bell. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, yes, they, uh, you're going to need to, uh... I can see it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's a persuade. I You're gonna need to persuade. Uh, give me give me two six sided and, and and roll uh um roll add your wily to it. All right, that's plus one. That is uh, seven plus one is eight. All right. Um, just uh. <clears throat> like, R in the red does uh, nods and he goes. Well, Softbeard, you never, you never steered me wrong, but I'm out the dinghy. I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out my man. Um, you know, it's like this. This is very peculiar. Um, yeah, you know, perhaps if, uh, if you have a, a little, little something, something for me, we can maybe uh, uh, see past uh, my, my losses here. Uh, you have this. Check Jimmy's pockets. <laughs> I will shout back to him, perfectly understandable, old chap. Let me prepare a dinghy of my own and send it to you so that you may recoup your losses. Within it, I will place enough to pay for the man you've lost, not in not his weight in gold or anything, mind you. That's, that's excessive. That's not crazy. Maybe, maybe, like, J- maybe Jim's weight in gold? Yeah, yeah, or like his weight in wheat or something, you know what I mean? Something like that. But I'll send you that, and you can keep my dinghy. And as I say that, I gather my most trusted men around me, and I say, okay, we're going to gather up some gunpowder, some explosive. We're going to play a particularly long fuse. We're going to push off a dinghy to stave off this attack. We are going to incapacitate his ship with an explosion, a well-timed explosion, 
And uh, hopefully that lets us continue on our way without having to worry about this interruption. Uh, they, they, they all. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's, Jeff. That's I feel a, like Jeff would be really good at this. I'm not. Yeah, I'm that's not a sure good idea. idea. Jeff, I think is going to have to be. Jeff knows the precise timing of explosives, bombs, and traps. Jeff, you're going to have to be the one to help me with how long that that wick should be. Uh, all right. Jeff, give me a give me a sly roll to study the situation and 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 determine exactly what you need. It is going to be an eight plus two, so a ten. There you go. <laughs> so um, yes, you you you're looking at it. You're looking at you're like yeah, we're going to need a we need a keg about this big. Well, you tell me. What do you think you need? It's exactly what you need. Tell 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 us what you exactly what you need to make this work. I pull out a. Nope. <laughs> so what you need is uh, about I don't know let's say twenty feet of of wick, and you need as much weight, and as you need a, uh, about the woman. Uh, what, what's the, what's the woman that you loved? Uh, well, what's her name? Like the woman that you love? Because I'm gonna I, I've killed her in a contract. <laughs> but I hear this. You're right. So I need to know like the proper weight so I can say weighs about the one you know weight of a woman that I've you've killed or something like that. Her name was Clammy. Cla Clammy <laughs> Clown was her name. Clammy, yeah. Um, you know, wait, about, was... about the size of Clowny. Not Clowny? What kind of horrible thing is that? <laughs> Clammy. Clammy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. She Clammy or Clowny. <laughs> oh, the answer is yes. The answer yeah. is yes. <laughs> about the size and weight of Clammy. How do you know Clammy? Let's talk about this later. Let's talk about that later, okay? You know Clammy, I know Clammy. This is... Uh, Sophia, maybe it's, you could you could have him tell your men to do this and you start preparing our escape instead. Yes. There goes my condition again with my eyes. I was trying to... <laughs> you bring up Clammy, this happens. It's the sea salt, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> She was explosive too. I'll say I'll say she was explosive too. Ah. <laughs> like her personality, right? Yeah. <laughs> A discussion for another day. Uh, Let's I'm going to sit okay, meditate so, while all this is going on. I don't know why I'm holding this. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Yes. Uh, okay, so I get my men to prep that. We're going to rake it all up. We're going to hide it under some tarps and put uh, you know a couple of like. To tw twigs of asparagus or something sticking out from under the tarp. It looks like they're getting a feast. Right. And we're going to push that off. Yeah. I shout yeah. back to him, your bounty is on the way. I hope this makes us even. And uh, he, uh, he says, of course it will, Saltbeard. You are a, you are a gentleman also of the seas. And it also doesn't really look that good based on my advice. Uh, <laughs> it actually doesn't look that good, and they sort of recognize it, but it's too late. Mm. <laughs> yes, there's a. There, you notice as um as you as you as you unfurl the sails, and the wind once again collects uh, into into uh, uh, the the unbeloveds, uh, and you start moving and catching. We see you can you can see as um. A few of the, their sailors come down and they start uh, grabbing the dinghy and pulling it. And then, like one of them, all of a sudden, you see him. He's like, "No, oh, no!" <laughs> and then the large I explosion. See some of the crew have gathered, and they seem to be eating popped corn. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a large explosion, and you see the ship gets rocked to one side, almost over. And then, and it comes back down. You can see sailors flying off of the. Uh, from the explosion and also from the rocking of the ship, and um, you 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 see Martin the Red, you know, shaking his fists in your direction and yelling at you and so bad. And yeah. uh, and I've never know. seen a body fly that high before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do indeed wave off as the Queen is doing, and we are going to be on our way. There's no catching up to us now. Very good. I'm going All to right. take a nap. <laughs> you go and you go and take a nap and think about what you've done. <laughs> um. So, you uh, now I'm going to give you a moment 
um, before we, we enter into like the, the when you actually arrive at your destination, um, if there's anything that the characters, you as the characters, want to discuss with each other, um, by all means, uh, now is a good time where we can hit the fast four button, or we can and we can go to that. Uh, you obviously you you uh, you extended your relationships and you and you strengthened and deepened a lot of the connections you had. So, yeah. I want to talk to. I need to talk to I, and uh, I'm going to question him regarding this mystic power he seems to have to animate dead large bodies, and I'm going to. Ask him if that's something I need to be concerned about regarding my crew's well-being. If this sacrificing someone to reanimate someone else is something I should be concerned about, something he intends to continue doing, what's going on? Well, there was 18 brothers of mine and myself, making 19, and our father taught us many things, tried to teach us, Many things, but Uncle Joe grabbed a few of us and taught us the arcane arts. There was four of us. It was U, I, C, and R. And um, R disappeared a long time ago. Actually, we heard he went to the land of gangrene. Haven't seen him. Um, uh, but before R left, I'm sorry, we called him R. Um, but before he left, he told us about this whole being able to move people. He he he. he Told us he animated a cat, but we thought he did it with a string. We're not sure. Um, I was the one who killed the cat, and I got in trouble for it. Uh, but anyhow, okay. So as time went by, the voice got not... the voices got stronger, and the voice in my head told me that I must seek out my three brothers and destroy them, each one of them, except for C. So two of my brothers were evil. So that's why that's part of what I'm doing. But then I heard the Queen's business. I feel strongly for her. I will help her. I'll do whatever I can. I'm sorry I lost my head with you. I mean, you, my brother. Um, you are cool. <laughs> you, my brother, bad. And that won't happen again. Okay. Um, Jimmy was a necessary okay. sacrifice. Listen, nobody really cares about Jimmy, okay? Nobody's <laughs> oh, that worried uh, about Jim. Jimmy. I called him Jimmy. He's not worth it, Jim. So... <laughs> If we happen to run into another one of your many brothers, before you go off killing someone, you're going to need to walk up to your captain and run this by me. We can find someone to kill. What if, I just cannot have you what killing one get, of my important men. What if when we get to Gangrene, I go to the local um, bars and hostels and recruit some disciples there? Can I kill them? Baby, you go, you go to town. You do whatever you want. We have a uh, deal. Hey, uh, Lance. Lance, Done. do I have I? Can I look at this letter? Can I ask? Uh, you will, you would uh, have to break. You would have to break the seal. Uh, it, oh. it does have it does have a wax seal on it. So I guess that would be up to what you want to do and what Althea would be willing to let you do. So uh, I I'll just say I'll talk to her. This no, time. just so you know, as as a as a man of subterfuge and skill, you do know. Like how to forge seals and things like that, you know, as well. I mean, so I mean, you could you could take a chance to do it secretly. Uh, no, I'm just gonna. I'll just. I'll talk to her. <laughs> uh, I'll, Out comes I'll, our cook holding <laughs> a chicken. <laughs> In time approaches. <laughs> as he away he goes with the chicken again. Just yeah. a note. Just a general sort of you know. Life on the ship uh, announcement. I apologize. <laughs> Go ahead. So sneaking, sneaking up her a little eerily, and I'll say, "What is this?" Now I can honorably break this seal. That letter I can break smells. Seal on my own. I can do this on my own. By the way, now. little, little, little silent fart because I smell. All right. <laughs> I kind of give away my position because I do fart a lot, like silently. Uh, <laughs> so you are a true so, assassin, so, silent so that, but so deadly. My intro, my intro is not always like cool. Uh, it is a little, little gassy. So uh, <laughs> it's a little gassy, uh, but I do roll up on her, and the stench kind of wakes her up more so than my presence of sneaking up on her. And I say, "What is this?" Now, we can do this two ways. I can open this on my own, or you can tell me what is here. 
I can't read. Sorry. <laughs> I can't post. I'm I can't read. Don't give up. Don't give up the I, game, I'm, man. I'm, I'm pausing. I was taught so many much to gather my thoughts read. as I am to hold my breath for a minute, hoping like the air will everything smells. Clear everything smells great. Um, I'm sorry. You're saying you can't read? I can't read. My breath smells and the gas of I don't know wherever I'm from. Oh, many dead oh, horses. What's oh, that? The gas of many dead horses that the emanates. Gas from of many cities. dead horses. <laughs> Listen, Jack. I we were in a desperate situation, and I trusted you, and you proved yourself trustworthy. And I know that's probably not been said to you very often. Uh, but you you showed that you were worth that trust. And I would like to repay you for that, um, both monetarily, because I'm assuming that is something that you would prefer, but also uh, with a measurement of respect and friendship. You can't buy lunch with that, baby. Well, So I'm gonna let you know what's in that letter. This letter is, uh, is actually a proposal of marriage to help with an alliance that, if broken, means that I was, uh, I cannot actually give it to the king and that alliance will not happen. So I'm gonna need it back now. <laughs> All right, for, uh, I'll say, uh, for this coin, I will hold my tongue. But for now, you don't have my full trust. This is very important information. It is. I held this in contracts, many contracts before. Yep. But this one right here may cost you more than coin. Uh, what are we talking about here? I don't know what the heck we're talking about. All right, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, I know, but <laughs> I'm outside, obviously. But it's my shift. I'm outside you, listening. I pay, this, but I pay you this, this bag of coal. Hmm. And I'll owe you a favor. How about that? Right. You'll owe me one favor. That's what I'll say. Yeah, I will owe, I'll owe you one favor. Right. So here, here's your here's here's your link. I hand it to you, and I lit out just a little poot. You can hear it this time. What is going and, on? <laughs> I you thought I was the weird time. one. And I I give it oh, to you. Oh, I think you're all the weird ones. Let's right, we are the weird one. But then I make an exit, and yeah, you know, like I said, once again, leave my gas of what is it? <laughs> Gas of a thousand horses, I think. Gas of a thousand horses. <laughs> with what? Something filthy. You gotta come up with a new filthy thing each time. I don't know. No, poof. Yes, yes, I gotta come up with a filthy thing each time. I'm, I'm gonna assume that this is just a time period where personal hygiene and dietary just that. requirements were not all up to par, and this is not actually that unusual. I'm just gonna let it slide. I'm just gonna take my letter back and let it slide. Like a world of filth. Jeff's filth stands out. That says something. Hey, I'm still a smooth <laughs> dude. I'm just gassy. <laughs> just a killer, but I'm gassy. That kind of I, kind of cuts out the smooth part. Just just heads up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh my god. Hey, you 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 tend you um you spend your your crew spends some time swabbing the blood out of the deck. Yeah, you know, so they uh, they managed to get rid of um, uh, the look of it, uh, and and you know you you do notice now like you know it's like uh, you know maybe 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 you need to get a refinish. There's a lot of like you know, oh, oh there's the blood stain from that battle and there's that one over there, but it's it's part of the charm of the unbeloved. Uh, but um, soon um, you you you're approaching um, the the ally the, the shores of the ally of Gang Green, which was named. What outside? Uh, it's named. I'm assuming uh, that Jeremy has just read the chat. <laughs> I have no idea. Which is calling him a guest assassin. A guest assassin. When you write your RPG, you could put that in as one of the classes people can uh, be. It's the kingdom of Tourniquet. Oh. I'm sorry, what was it? Tourniquet. Oh. Tourniquet. Very good. Oh, I've been here um, before. So, you, uh, how have you, When were you here before? Oh, when I was a boy. 
My mother brought me. I'm sorry, my aunt. My mother's dead. But she was like a mother to me. Understood. Um, mm. you, um, your boat um, uh, is starting to approach uh, uh, the, the docks of of the uh, of, of the the, tur- the kingdom of Turnicket, um, near their 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 port city, their capital. Um, and uh, I just out of curiosity, uh, Althea, did you tell anyone that you were that you were approaching? Did you did you notify them that you were traveling? Uh, their way, or is this an un? Uh, is this a surprise visit? So, while I did not send an official word, I may have told in confidence several of my handmaidens who I wanted absolutely not to tell anyone else at all whatsoever that I was doing this, so that it would be certain to get to them by the time I arrived. <laughs> Very good. So yes, you notice as you uh, as you as you enter the harbor, um, you can see uh, there is a contingent of uh, of um, first they see the ship and they knew and then, and then then words word uh, was was spoken and now you can see there is a a, a very affluent uh, contingent a, a small crowd if you will um, who are awaiting your arrival um, and. Uh, they, they seem to be, uh, for, even from this distance, uh, Saltbeard, you take out your, your, your spyglass and you take a look. Um, you notice one of them uh, bears a striking resemblance uh, resemblance to I. Um, and, oh, uh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, and uh, perhaps it is another one of his brothers. It's Uncle Joe. I know it. No, 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 Uncle Joe was was killed by an angry mob. Um, apparently, he took a bunch of children off, got them all drunk, and went on a crusade against the local police force where they all got killed. Um, people seemed to be irritated about that. I was sick that day, so I didn't get to go. Oh, I've heard the famous story and song of Uncle Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, <laughs> Uncle Joe? Oh, that's your Uncle Joe. Uh, well, well, I can now say I've had a brush with fame. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but no, no. Uh, uh, as you get closer, I it is your brother, R. R. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, who is who is uh, who is is there with a uh, a large contingent of of like as I said most of the people in the docks um, are, have peasant garbs but these these people are 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 wearing uh, uh, finery and um, uh, appear to be regal in, in, in look and there appears to be even perhaps some uh, 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 people of, of piety of of holy people uh, there on the docks as well. Um, and they, they seem to be very uh, uh, well. You tell me, what do they look like? What do, what do you what do you, what do you think they look like? Jeff well, Jeff the Wanderer, you you are a good judge of character. How, how do you how are the people looking? <laughs> they look they're looking like my type of people. <laughs> so <laughs> they're they're people you like to rob you mean? They've never seen a good day in their life based on their clothes. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> Um, so they, they like they're they're looking like maybe perhaps like those are the people at the docks like the, the yeah. standard. But what about what about that small contingent of, of like that look like they look out of place. They look like they they are uh, um, having. I got food delivered. That's nice. Uh, I, <laughs> no, <laughs> that Jimmy Jones. <laughs> yeah. Just my 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 son just ran up and handed me a, a bag of food. That was that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, no, uh, you are. Uh, you can see, uh, like, there's like they, they look totally out of place. Tell me why they look out of place, Jeff the Wanderer. Uh, because the uh, the people look, you know, like those people look uh, a little bit more well to do, uh, or a little bit more prepared looking, which which bothers me. Like they look sort of like they're confrontational, maybe because I think they're a little bit more regal than I'm used to. I don't like those type of characters uh, that I'm seeing. Very good. 
So they look um, good. They look good, and I don't like that because they look. It awesome. looks like they might smell normal. They look like they might be healthy. <laughs> that bothers you. Do, you. do you give your cloak a good shake? You know, to, let, yeah. to make sure that uh, <laughs> let, let it let it disperse. All right, you you get in a dinghy unless you have any any problems with with uh, with going ashore. The the four of you. Um, does anybody want to bring uh, Saltbeard? Do you want to bring any of your crew with you when, when you go? No, I'm going to leave my. Uh, bring my... one. Just bring one without a name. You don't even know who he is. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to sashay on up to I and ask him, uh, listen, in case we run into another one of your murderous rages for animation trades, if you know what I'm saying, can you point out the, the most feeble looking of the crew, the one you think you could take? I already said I would not. I along. would not do something to one of the crew. I promise, and I have never broken my promises more than once. <laughs> All right. Having said that, Skinny Pete, you're with us. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the, yeah. Uh, don't worry about the shirt. You don't have to bring a shirt. Let's go. So Skinny Pete is going with us. Uh, I am also carrying. Uh, I gotta take some weaponry with me. I'm not sure I trust what's going on on this uh, dock. So let's see what I've got here. I got my leather armor, my cutlass, yep. and my hand crossbow. Uh, these things are going on my person. I'm taking right. my my cutlass and my hand crossbow. And it goes without saying, your royal sword will be on on your person as well. Yes. Okay. And 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 uh, and Jeff the Wanderer never goes anywhere without his blades. Never, never. never. Um, Skinny Pete was gonna put on his 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 his, his shirt, but you told him no. So he's, no. he's just going he's he's going in his uh, jerkin and, and 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 like he he uh, he rose he rose you over. It does. Um, you uh, you 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 climb out and uh, R sees I and says R. brother, and he walks forward in in a he obviously wants to embrace you. He, he I just stand there awkwardly. I haven't seen R in a long time, and he's really thin, from what I remember. Really skinny guy. Um, and I really hate the fact, because when he hugs me, he always whispers in my name, my real name, which is Ignoramas. And that's why I dropped all of it except for the I. His name is <laughs> Ridicula. So I, I whisper that back in his ear. We pretend that we're happy. Mm. But I really hate him more than I ever hated you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, His family's yeah. got some issues. It's wow. got some issues. Wow. Yeah, he he was was he was Uncle Joe you did was, you a disservice. I, I like that you're internally like just character just full of hate. Like you <laughs> like it's everybody. Dark. <laughs> well, it's 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 you know, it's because that's what, you know, Tom's just letting his you know letting letting it out. Here, right? No, I'm not doing anything. I promise my captain I wouldn't do anything unless it's like a really extreme emergency, which it's not. If, and if we get to an extreme emergency, Skinny Pete, <laughs> just say it. Let us not forget, Skinny Pete, lest we fall prey to killing someone who matters. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Skinny, yes. Skinny Pete's name is Rob, and he hates that you can call him Skinny Pete. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed so the captain doesn't really take the time to learn people's names. You don't know my name, and I'm not Skinny. skinny. I just have smaller arms. <laughs> you look like a Pete. So, so R and I, uh, they, they do their, their embrace. They, they whisper their Hail Hydra into each other's ear. You know, and... Um, and they both, they both, uh, you know, they, they come back and you can see they're both like, it's very obvious they're faking a smile. They're faking uh, enjoyment um, to see. And uh, <laughs> exactly. Wow. That's terrifying. That's, that's the creepy smile. And R uh, says, so happy. you know, um, you know, it's like your excellency. And, and he, he bows deeply. Uh, in front of you, um, you know, come. Uh, we have heard uh, of your approach. Um, we have brought 
the captain of the guard and himself and uh, um, our most pious priest uh, to to escort us all. Um, uh, you know, his his Majesty uh, the King of Tourniquet, uh, whose name is what. Saltbeard, you deal with him all the time. You 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 run rum for him when he needs it. When, oh, you know, the king, the, the king. king tourniquet, the king of I, tourniquet. I do run rum for him. Yeah, uh, it's, it's 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 a dry kingdom. No no alcohol is allowed. Yes, but uh, he likes to get it imported, and I try to bring him the best stuff. Uh, his name is King Ramdasha. Ramdasha, so His Majesty King Ramdasha. I better uh, write that down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Awaits you, and um, you begin uh, you begin going through the the many twisting and turning streets of the kingdom of Tourniquet, um, leading up to the hill of his 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 grand uh, grand castle. Um, and uh, you know, Jeff, our... Jeff, Jeff is uh, finding finding the best place to start ducking out and shadowing. Uh, away from what's going on here. Doesn't like the king, does not want to be near kings, uh, but is still around. Yes. Just watching. Just you, uh, you, 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 you fall behind uh, a little bit. You allow the crowd to kind of, because there's a small, like, there, there's, like I said, there's only three or four of the official retinue, but definitely there's a, seeing this many people uh, all at one in one location, it definitely there. Um, people take notice, and but you kind of allow allow the crowd to kind of um, get in between you and and your followers, and you and you uh, step back. I'm going to have you um, study the situation because you since you uh, you you are are taking a look. Uh, study the situation. Uh, if you don't remember, is this is your sly role to see okay. what you have. First stop is to get some gas pills, so gas concoction. <laughs> <laughs> really having a bad day. I'm having yeah, a bad yeah. day with gas. I'm having a You're bad having day. a bad day? Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of fish. It was, there was a lot of fish on the show. I'm just not sure he understands the length of a day. So uh, its length is 8 plus 2, which is a 10. Perfect. Okay. So you're allowed to ask me. Uh, three questions about the situation. These can be like very like like maybe these could be. Um, do I uh, do I think anybody that that surrounding me right now um, is is you know do I think that they are want to bear me ill will? You can say if I had to escape, how can I escape? Is yeah. there somebody that I'm walking by that is selling gas concoction that I can take quickly? Mm. You know, th those are all questions. I mean, things along those natures. So, uh, <laughs> me, questions you can because ask. because you because you 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 rolled so well, you get to ask me three questions okay. about this situation. I have to answer them truthfully to you. Okay. So one, I'm going to get a, a, a gas solution. Does that gas solution work, or is it terrible? It goes. You uh, you 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 pass by a person that has elixirs and and uh, and and topical remedies. Um, and and even the, the person's back is turned as he's dealing with another customer, and you see um, you see something that you remember that you've had before. You you just you you quickly just snag it in your palm. You put it in your sleeve, and after you get about six or seven steps away, you uncork it and drink it down, and and you can you can feel it working. You know that uh, this, oh, is, this is this okay. is like the best best pill of Beano you've ever had. You know, you just a little, little bit like a cool mint fart. That yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cool mint fart. <laughs> we are spending an inordinate be... amount of time talking about this during this RPG. All right. <laughs> no, it's, it's only for you, Tom. It's only for you. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> um, so uh, are these characters? Do they have a? Do they give me a, a vibe of being honorable or sort of in the middle here? Like I don't, I don't necessarily have a good feeling about it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't trust R any further than you could throw them. You can see, you can just sense, like from the way that his hand is always resting um, at the sword on his side. You know, as he's talking, like he always seems to be moving back, like. You feel that um, there is a there is a general sense of unease here, um, and uh, the captain of the guard, you believe, is here just to uh, uh, make sure that there is no trouble from any of you. But he isn't here to protect you in any way. Um, okay. Just so one more question. I, Give me a question. Okay. So can I, f with with the tools that I have, do I feel like there's a a, a, a place or a possible moment as 
as I walk, like I, I have the confidence, let's say, I have a, the confidence that I can find a place where the right moment strikes to take out at least two people at any point. Um, Basically assess, assessing the opponent, possible people around him that are that kind of you walking think you think you, you could you could probably uh, like uh, distract one of them, yeah. uh, but um, you you uh, you you'd have to pick wisely, and you also run the risk of there are a lot of people around. They're going to see exactly what you're up to. Uh, you I, know, uh, when you could. Uh, I should have asked it to you as a. So I felt like... he stepped back and he's doing tailing us, but having been in court situations before. How, am I picking up on the tension at all as we're traveling along together? Um, yes, uh, you you uh, you definitely feel that there is uh, um, a a un, unspoken amount of like uh, you you know the words behind the words like you know like people are people are going up going they're not even trying really even to, the, the amount of flattery that is being being spoken the amount of uh, pleasantries that are being exchanged. Um, the fact that um, you don't think that these three would have anything to do with somebody like Saltbeard or Skinny Pete, for that matter, uh, you know, just like and the fact that they're allowing them to walk with you just is is, is uh, raising a, a cause for concern in your mind. OK, so I am trying to be very unsubtle about who I am so that the general populace can see. Um, not, no, not who you are. <laughs> no, I was figuring out that phrase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Arthur, what is what is what do you think is going on? Oh, not R, sorry. I. What do you think is you going on? Five minutes. I'm not talking to you for calling me the wrong name. Um, <laughs> I'm really thrown off here, but I I am when I when I get a chance, I need to tell the captain something. Yeah, you, no. can, you can definitely uh, whisper in his ear if you wish. Well, no. When, when I, I, as, as I see him approaching, I'm like, is it Skinny Pete time? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I found a note. I found the note when I was going, when I looted through Jimmy's belongings in his cabins. And he had a letter from R, and I show it to Z, that had him, for some reason, he was trying to, he was ordered to kill you. And somehow the voice you to kill Saltbeard. No, I don't see how this is too confusing. You was not involved in this. Instead, Jimmy was going to kill you, Saltbeard. Saltbeard. Um, and so, as far as I can tell, the voice had me sacrifice him for a reason to save your life. Okay, no irony, show no me jokes. this letter of which you speak. Oh, I ate it. Of which I speak. Of, you know what I mean. Show me the letter. I <laughs> ate it. There's a couple well, reasons. One, Jimmy also in his pocket had had some sweets that were on the letter, and they had melted on, and so it was pretty tasty. I was very hungry, but also for safekeeping. Ah. Huh. When you get the letter back, show it to Jeff. <laughs> and then Jeff will let me know. Jeff can't on the read. Letter. I can't read. Very good. All right. You approach the castle and you are let in um, uh, um, immediately. There's, there's, no, there's no guards walking your path. They nod in your direction as you enter. The captain of the guard is with um, are and then he is uh, and and once again this 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 pious like you know, priest or or, or 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 clerical figure um, who hasn't said anything this entire time he's just walked in step with you the entire way um, Jeff uh, I will allow you if you wish to catch up and 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 follow in with them or are you going to try to sneak in uh, behind in some way I am definitely going to go sneak in. This is right. this is where I where I feel like I shine. So yeah, and as, as uh, we are about to uh, pass the entrance and uh, make our way past the proscenium of the door into the space, I hang back a bit just enough to tell Jeff to hang outside and cover us just in case something goes awry. I'm feeling particularly uneasy myself. Normally, when I deliver rum for the king, 
I deal with the king. I deal with a small group of his uh, most trusted and uh, fierce warriors, though thankfully I've never had to see them in battle. Uh, but the extra bodies today I am confounded by, especially when I'm not aware that they expected anything different. So I am feeling particularly uneasy. I need Jeff to be our backup. And I'm right. staying next to the Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff, so Jeff, the Wanderer, you can sneak in. Uh, this is not something that, like, one of the nice things about this this system is that if, if, if you are a character that is a hero that, that, like, this is in your wheelhouse, so to speak, you yeah. can get to do it. If there was, like, extra guards and, like, you know, guard dogs and magical wards or something, then you'd be at the roll. But no, you uh, you managed to, like, scale a wall, sneak into, uh, get behind the guards, and you were watching from a distance as as uh, as, as the Queen Althea and, and, and the rest of your uh, compatriots are led in. Can um, I, you were led... Okay, can I at least... I, I was going to say this within taking a look at these people. Can I at least... Look at uh, look at uh, look at uh, R and uh, take a look at him. And by the twitch of his hand, can I tell how good of a swordsman he may be? Um, absolutely. Uh, well, how good of a swordsman do you think he is? Right. So I'm just wondering by the way his hand kind of sort of dances around that that area. Okay, and let's go. A, we'll go a study a person. This is another right. slide check for you. Yeah. Uh, six. Plus two is eight. All right, I was gonna say that's not a good time. No. So eight. Um, like, uh, will you tell me then how good of a swordsman is? Uh, he looks he looks like he'd be really formidable for me. Uh, so it kind of it kind of scares me a little bit. Kind of makes me a little bit off on my heels a little bit because I know I got to do something really quick to take. Well, him. you mean formal and direct combat because you're not necessarily a swordsman. You're a trained killer to right. kill people when they don't know you're coming. Right, but right. I don't. I, I don't. I feel like mm. I really only have one shot. Like I only have one shot. And All right, and then then ask you can ask me one more question about about R. Uh, How do you spell his name? <laughs> With three R's. <laughs> One more question about uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So we want to give him a question to ask? Yeah. I don't know. What does he want? What? Uh, maybe I want to have an idea. Yeah, his idea of his intentions, just based on what I'm seeing. Like, what is his intentions? He, he, he wants to get you to the king as quickly as possible. He wants to get Queen Althea and the rest of you to the king as quickly as possible. Okay. So I feel like this is a setup, and I really dig in. Well, that's up to you to interpret. He, he wants to get you guys there as soon as possible, but the, the intent behind that is, is yours to determine. Right. So I feel like this might be a setup, so I'm going to go ahead and really dig in. <laughs> start, like, start really start really start doing you know start really turning the assassin on you know like oh like, okay yeah, yeah like so, I've really so you, turned it on, you, like, you follow them in that you follow them in and you sneak into like they're they're led right into the throne room and we'll get to the throne room in a second but you are you have crept up on top of one of the parapets and you can now see in you've, you've cracked open a window and you can see what's going on and no one knows that you're there no one has any clue uh that that, that you're observing from a distance um you enter the throne room um you have been here before, Saltbeard, when there was, you know, when it was dark, and you were delivering your your casks of rum. Um, and uh, uh, King Ramdasha, uh, uh, you know, um, is 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 you know a, a very you know he's 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 getting on in years, but he still cuts a very powerful figure. Oh yeah, yeah, we call him the Ram. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the bad yes. dude. So the Ram, the Ram, upon immediately seeing uh, seeing you, Saltbeard, he he his booming voice, you know, you know, from his you know barrel chest, man, it's like, oh, ho, 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 my most good friend, Saltbeard. And he's yeah, his grammar's not great, so yeah, yeah he <laughs> says that, my most good friend, and I say, oh, my most king of persons, here I be. <laughs> <laughs> and, you and know, he, I try uh, to blend in while I'm there, you know, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and uh, he's like, uh, and, you know, it's like, you know, and he doesn't, he doesn't, he, 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 nod, he bows ever so slightly, 
uh, to you, um, uh, uh, Queen Althea, and he says, Your Excellence, you know, you know, it's like, I am pleased that you would come such a long way to come to my, my kingdom. <laughs> and, and to that, I, I curtsy as is proper and fitting and say, thank you for taking the time to see us. Good King. We have much to talk about. Yeah. And, and, um, and then that is when our, um, steps forward. And I know, I know just in real life, I know we're, we're cutting it close because we are, uh, our steps forward and says, um, now that everyone is here, you know, it's like, it's, um, he says, uh, yes, I know of the letter that you hold, the one that speaks of, uh, you know, these treasonous things that you wish to turn the kingdom of Rondasha, a uh, uh, kingdom of, of tur- tourniquet against the most glorious kingdom of gangrene. You know, it's like, and this cannot come to pass. So what even better would be an answer as to why the citizens of, of tourniquet should turn is if assassins were to enter the king's court and, and, and slay him as we speak. And you hear the doors slam shut behind you and uh, the, the captain of the guard draws his blade and you know, I immediately <laughs> grab skinny feet and I toss him towards I. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, and, and you see the king, Ramdasha, is like, like, like looking around like he has no idea. And, and, uh, and you notice that um, uh, the captain of the guard uh, the priest like doffs his 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 robes, and and you see that no, you know he is uh, he, he looks to be like a, a like a, a light armored swordsman, and um, and uh, and and you notice that uh, uh, your brother R starts speaking in guttural tones as you know that he is. I grab my off. sword and I start running towards the king, even though I know it's probably going to be too late. Wait, all right, yeah, very good. good. I, are you are you intending to hold the king hostage? He's not in on this. I no, think. I'm I'm intending to try to protect him. Uh, All right. Yeah. So so let's just let's just go. Uh, you 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 throw Skinny Pete into the arms of of, Do of, thing! of, I, of I. I can't break a promise. I said I wouldn't kill a crew member. <laughs> Is there any you other? Break a, break a promise more than once. I scream. I, I haven't I been asked to make ice. a sacrifice. Although I am going to try to draw on the power <laughs> so that I can cast a shield right. to protect the king. All right. Uh, so then, please, uh, then you know, everyone will get an action here. Just tell me what you're going to do, and, and we'll, we'll move forward. Um, but so you're going to you're going to cast your call upon uh, the unspeakable power. Make your uh, make your roll. Uh, once again, it is the arcane. Um, you do not have a follower. You you slayed your follower. Yeah, um, it don't. So you, it does not matter. You, it is a. It is. I rolled a three, so let's not pretend. <laughs> <laughs> let's not pretend. All right. So um, you call upon uh, the the unspeakable power, and um, your the voice just says, uh, "It's like, it's like you call upon me uh, for trivialities. You know, it's like prove." Oh, I'm your, sorry. You're saving the prove, king. Prove yourself. I'm I'm having a slight crisis of faith, and. Despite my promise, I am looking a little bit at Skinny Pete now. Mm-hmm. He's looking, now he's looking good. Yeah. I get All right. it. Uh, Captain Saltbeard, what do you do? Uh, how many uh, how many warriors seem to have yeah. suddenly sprung into action in this room we're in, in the chamber? The, the, the captain of the guard, a well, he looks like he's wearing heavy armor, and he has a, he has a wicked-looking uh, large sword that he, he is brandishing. And then there is this uh, very, very quick-looking, lightly armored swordsman that uh, has thrown off the priestly robes that he was wearing, and he seems ready to attack. And R. And R, who is backing up and is speaking in guttural tones, it looks like he's co- maybe calling upon uh, like an, an, an like an arcane power himself. I hate this guy so okay, much. Okay, got it. Well, I. It's uh, or R knowing anyway. that Jeff. Knowing that Jeff is outside, knowing that Jeff is uh, doing what he does best, I'm going to leave uh, him to deal with our uh, our flighty fighter. Let him deal with that. I'm going to go brute strength to brute strength with the captain of the guard as I draw my cutlass and brandish my, my hand crossbow and approach him 
beating my chest so as to make sure I draw his attention and keep him away from the king and the queen as she approaches to protect him. He uh, he, he he raises his sword and salute to you and moves forward with deadly intent. So, just you're going to make an engaging compact. You're going to roll your plus uh, fierce. Roll two dice six and roll fierce. Fierce is plus two. Oh, that's terrible. I rolled a three plus two. That's five. All right. So, yes, I, you... Um, I might have kicked myself while I was beating my chest. Oh, I cut myself no, slightly. That is not the case. But uh, what happens is is that, uh, like, you move forward and, and um, he, he, his, 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 his grabbing a sword to salute you was a ruse. And so, like, you, you, you actually took, the, took a moment's pause to, like, nod. But instead, he leapt forward. And, uh, and stabbed his sword deep into your shoulder. Um, you have your armor on, however, so you, because you failed, he would do normally two points of harm. Just so you know, the, everybody has five points of harm. Uh, as you take harm, uh, things bad things can happen. Um, but your armor protects you from one of that, so you only take one point of harm. Now, because you've taken a harm, I need you to roll a 2d6, and you're going to add your total harm to this, and that means that it's possible like more like something else bad could happen to you like you stumble or something just don't roll a 10 or higher on this roll so, so both of the dice plus one plus one that is correct that is a six seven so nothing yes yeah, it's just a it's just a flesh wound and you're able to continue um, I, uh do a i do a kind hey, of hey oh, hey oh. i was in the middle of running all right what are you what are you, <laughs> what, what are you what are you doing queen althea well Captain, super brave, lots of brandishing and yelling, and yes, he he commands a ship. I am the queen of a warrior race that has been training my whole life, and while I appreciate him trying to step in and take on the big dog, I was actually ready to fight the captain of the guard, but I'm going to take advantage of the fact that he was distracted attacking, and uh, and... And do a flanking attack on uh, as I'm running towards the king. You're welcome. Very good. So once again, you'll need to roll your fierce in two dice. I gave you a bonus because I knew you'd want to have a high fierce in your character. Yeah. All right. So two and a five plus three, so that's ten. That is ten. Yes. You now. I'm going to ask you a very important question because you get to take something extra. He's going to attack you back. I mean, so it's possible that he would do some damage to you. However. He's there gonna attack me back while his sword is or his is. It's just it's, it's, it's just the way the system works. You are you right. are engaging in combat. So you get to choose one of the following. Yes. You can do extra harm if you wish. You can parry their blows, which means you'll take less harm, meaning in this case you take no damage whatsoever. Well, you can battle aggressively, which you would, you would do more damage. You do plus two harm to him. Which might be needed if uh, because he is wearing armor, and so like it might be might be needed. But then you would take another uh, plus one harm to yourself if you did that, or you can fight defensively, meaning you do less Boring. harm. There's almost no chance that they'll be able to hurt, hurt you. Yeah. So having sized up the situation before it happened, and knowing we were in a pretty dire thing, and knowing that he's heavily. That, he, that I'm probably going to take damage, but taking him out more quickly is probably more important. I attack aggressively. Yes! Proud so, of you, queen! I say as I'm like, okay. So now you must... Uh, I'm watching you, in awe. Because you rolled so well, because you rolled so well, you get to you choose one of these three options. You stymie your opponent. Basically, you make you change their behavior in some way. Uh, you are impressive or dominant, so the people around you, 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 you're going to affect them in some way because of how well you attack, or you can achieve a separate goal, um, whether that's like maybe you uh, protect the king so that nobody can attack him, you could uh, block the exit so nobody can escape, things like that. Yeah, as much as I'd like to be impressive and all of that, I think that I would do a separate attack and grab from my necklace one of the poison darts that's there and fling it at the priesty dude. To keep him. Uh, Alright. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm on the floor nursing my, my wound. My foot. <laughs> like, whoop, whoop, yeah! All right. Give me oh, another roll. Better. Give me another fierce roll. <laughs> as, you, uh, as you throw the dart at, at, at the gentleman. Um, that's a four and a six plus three. It's plus fierce. 
Yes, it's either it so the thirteen. All right. Yes. Um. The the dart plunges into uh and and he like he's like this little tiny dart like it hits hits him. You notice that he's 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 counting on the fact that he's he's so fast he's gonna hit it and it, it, it hits hits his shoulder and he's like what the and he like. He's like this, huh? what? And then all of a sudden, like he watches, he watches like his side, you know, like his 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 arm grows limp, and as the, as the paralytic poison enters his system, and he's like, "What sorcery is this? You fight fair, you it's science!" <laughs> science! <laughs> all right, it. Jeff the Wanderer, you are you are perched and, and staring as as the battle unfolds. Uh, so I uh, will jump out of the shadows and attack the more, I guess, the more skilled guy that's heavier. But before I do, I will throw one of my daggers at the same, the same, uh, the guy with the poison dart. So I will throw one of my daggers and then jump behind the other guy and attack. Oh, he's trying right. to steal your experience uh, points. Yeah. I need some fierce. I need some fierce rolls from you. I'm gonna need a couple of them. All right, so. Fierce one. Uh, yeah, that went really well. Uh, man, I'm rolling well. All right, so that's an 11. I have a record the show. King. I can't see the deck. If you asked uh, uh, the Ram, he would say you're rolling good. Yes. 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 <laughs> you roll good. <laughs> All right. So I'm, um, is your roll? That was my you're, you're, as, you, as you throw in, like, the, the throwing knife, it, like, plunges into the side of the swordsman's neck, and he's, like, as he's always like, ah, oh, no. Fair. And he falls to the ground, you know, without ever even getting to swing his sword. And then you approach. Oh, I, I apologize, Julie. Uh, uh, Althea, we have to do your harm because he did hit her with the sword. We'll have to go back to that after we do this. But so go ahead. I'd like to point out we're and down to two minutes. The, the, yep. other one, the other one's a seven. And that makes sense because I'm not, like, so confident. <laughs> go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, no, no. You, you, you still plunge your sword into his side. Do um, you want to attack fiercely so you make sure you hurt him? Fiercely. So I'll okay, take yes. whatever other blade right. I have. So he, um, yeah. he, you, you plunge your sword into his side, and the blood issues forth, and you can see he's falling. He, he hacks at you with his sword one last time, um, and, uh, and and like you know, does 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 a point of harm to you, uh, but your armor soaks it up, um, and uh, he crumples again. I stab yeah. again. I say, "Oh, you need two. Like, <laughs> Take two of these and call me in the morning." Oh, you Things need are getting two. stabby. Call me in the morning. I'll so tell you yes, and then and, and as, as, as so you, you you plunge your sword into him and he falls to the ground and and you know the king is just standing there and he's just a, a gosh as the blood flows in his in his in his royal thing and um and you see uh, R uh, looks over to uh to to i and said uh certainly you will spare your brother we'll find out next time <laughs> <laughs> all right that, you know, okay so i hope everybody had fun there's it's, a pause it's, it's, like i said <laughs> and we'll dun, pause it dun, dun. like that you know and that's actually a perfect cliffhanger is is like he sees his compatriots fall to the ground um he thought he would surprise he wasn't counting on uh, the person lying in wait in the in the you know and like I said this this system is is all based on trying to make the players uh, feel powerful and feel heroic and it isn't so much even like the fact that bad things can really happen because they can happen to you but it's about the story and creating it with everybody together so I think everybody did great yeah thank so you everybody experience. Boy, thanks Lance for thank running you. that that was fun that was fun thanks yeah. man yeah and um cool keep watching virtual gaming convention. That's Game right, time. and maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. we'll do a sequel to this at some point. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. I, I, I'd love to. All righty, folks. Nice. Well, we're going to switch over to the next thing on the main stage. Uh, we'll see you all later. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Jazz hands. I'm Lance Meister. Julie. <laughs> Jeremy. And I'm Z. Have fun, everybody.